Hi everyone. I just wanted to show you how to upgrade uh, the firmware on your Asus router. Um, the router should check uh, on a regular basis to see if there's an update available. And I'll always uh, recommend that you keep it uh, up to date uh, for security and features. So the first thing you want to do is head over on your web browser to the login uh, page for the router and then enter your login credentials. So let's do that. Once you log in, uh, you scroll down almost to the bottom and you will see a tab for administration. So click on that. And then you'll see some tabs along the top, firmware upgrade, click on that. If you look just at the top here on the right, you'll see a yellow flashing exclamation mark. That means there is a newer version available for you to install than the one you've already got. I would recommend before you do that, that you uh, uh, save your settings. So if anything goes wrong, you can restore it to how you had it set up previously. So hit the uh, restore or save or upload setting tab. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the save settings section. Uh, and then just left click on save setting and then you'll see at the bottom here uh, windows is downloading that um, so that's download downloaded if i just check show in folder you'll see there there's my config file for later on so we can use that go back to the router go to the firmware upgrade tab uh, and then you want to uh, scroll down to where you see your your router's name and then on the right it says manual firmware update and uh, you need to manually upload that. Uh, I'm running the Asus Merlin variant of the firmware but the process is exactly the same if you was using the original stock Asus firmware and you can see at the top there are links to either the Asus download center or where uh, Aswerk As Merlin keeps theirs. So if you click on the link uh, that's relevant to your firmware version, this takes me over to Merlin, click on the main download site, and then you wanna look for the version of your router listed here. Mine is an RTAX88U, so click on that. Then there are two types of releases. There's the stable release, and then there's a beta release. So that's the, 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 the next version coming along. So I'll click on the stable release, and then you wanna look for the latest version. So it is, the version is 386.5. Uh, left click on that. And then that will start to, uh, to download in a moment or two. Here you go, you can see that downloading. So if we go to the folder where that's been downloaded, almost finished once that's done just refresh it and you can see that's a zip file so you're going to need to unzip that where you can find the readme file plus the actual uh, os file so i'm just going to use 7 zip to undo that and i'll extract the files in this directory so that's all done and then you can see there there's a number of files you've got the readme file which has got the notes on uh, this release all the new updates corrections uh, etc so that's worth a read uh, but the actual os is this larger 85 megabit file uh, here so to install um, go back to the router interface we've already updated we've already saved our settings so on the firmware upgrade tab scroll down to where it says manual upload click on that that'll open up the page where you saved your uh, os Click on this file, the RTAX88U. It'll be different for yours if you have a different model. Then click on open. And then this will just go through the process. So this will take a few minutes um, and then the router will install and reboot and then you'll be ready to log in as normal.
So you can see here the progress bar uh, showing you the installation process. So it's currently uploading the, um, the OS file to the router. The router then will install and reboot and then uh, it will be available for you. So we won't wait for that. I hope that video has uh, helped you out. And uh, if you can, please consider uh, subscribing to my channel and even hitting that um, notification button so you know when I've uh, uploaded some new videos. Anyway, that's all for now, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.